where to eat in Medina. I'll give you three options in terms of price and we are in a restaurant, a proper restaurant. Uh, this is very close to the Haram, Masjid al Nabawi. Uh, we are inside Anwar Al Madina Mall. Our hotel is upstairs, and uh, this is what we have ordered. Uh, so, this is chicken shawaya combo. So, you get uh, a half a chicken, you get rice, you get some vegetables, and you get a bottle of water. So, that's for 55 rials. So, a proper restaurant, 55 rials, two people. Uh, pretty good very on the cheaper side um, but some of the other ones are much more expensive in the area uh, on average you might uh, find 50 to 60 even 70 rials per person the hotel we are staying at upstairs uh, has a buffet and that's 230 rials per person the second option would be go to McDonald's we went there as well um, and in McDonald's you can get maybe around 50 uh, rials you get uh, two meals so amount wise it might be a bit more uh, depending on what you really like and whatnot uh, but the price you'd for two people you'd have to spend around 50 rials here we're spending 55 which looks like enough for two people if you want to uh, go for something that is a bit further away perhaps in Medina uh, but costs much less is you go out from the uh, gate the door number 21 of the masjid and there's the big open gate from there you go straight out I think the numbers of the gates are around 330 something uh, you go from there you'll see the big gate and you go straight through you'll see some uh, big roads uh, busy roads some street markets you will come across some construction site on the left you go further down so you walk about 10 minutes and you get to the Bengali market so 65 reals massive amount of food for 65 reals we'll show you all the food that we got just now Inshallah, we will soon upload another video where to eat in Makkah. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe coming soon. At one of those restaurants, uh, we got um, for 65 reals uh, one biryani, one rice, and they're massive portions, uh, four curries, and uh, one sweet dish. So overall, uh, that uh, lasted us, the two of us, um, almost two days. And so if you wanted good quality food mm -hmm. for that kind of price, definitely it was the place to go. After walking about 10 minutes, uh, you get to the Bengali market, uh, but it's not just Bengali food. There's Bangladeshi, there's Pakistani, there's all sorts of other things as well. But there you find uh, food for much less, for about 20 rials. You can get full meals for two people. So, uh, and the, it tastes good, uh, the quality is good. We've had that every time that we've come to Medina. The food quality is very good, there's no issues whatsoever. Just because it's, it's costing a little bit less doesn't mean it's bad. It's really good food, but it's aimed at uh, people who are not living in these uh, fancy uh, hotels and whatnot that's why it's a bit further away but it costs much less and uh, we definitely visit there every time we come uh, so these are three options uh, where you want to eat either fancy restaurant fast food or go for something that's good but cost less so what did you think of the three options let me know in the comments and also what are your favorite places to eat in Medina any suggestions I'd love to hear from you I hope you found that information useful if you did please consider subscribing for much more from Makkah and Medina. If you are considering coming to uh, Makkah and Medina for Hajj and Umrah uh, later this year in 2023 or even next year 2024 or somebody you know is coming, please share the link with them. Uh, I hope they will find this information very useful. I'll see you in the next video. Happy traveling.